finally finally have them after so long of waiting finally got them so happy this is the NECA uh, Jason figure this is their ultimate line uh, now I've got the Freddy one I don't have the leather face um, I think I'll grab that one here pretty soon but this one is very important to get this is a nice uh, looking figure definitely if you guys want to pick this up hit up Big Bad Toy Store they have them in stock right now definitely definitely snag them up the artwork is really nice very cool you can see all the bad reflection you can see all the stuff he comes with a spear got a machete knife uh, extra hands of course the mask there goes this grotesque face that looks pretty cool let's see you got the back of the box if you want to read that go ahead so let's crack them open all right so the Jason figure is a nice overall look um, it captures the the character very well the figure itself does have some quality problems that I'm not happy with but overall it's still a nice figure um, my biggest complaint with this figure is when I go to attach the other hand the whole peg comes out with it and when you put the interchangeable hand on which this is the only hand the machete fits in uh, it doesn't there's no other peg hole so this peg is meant to stay in so I just gotta somehow pry that out and I'll still be able to use it um, so that that is a little disappointing I don't know if anybody else has come across that problem and another issue I have is with the wobbly legs I mean this thing just uh, it's it's a mess when it comes to that but those are little minute problems but it's still something that NECA still hasn't addressed um, the Freddy figure I the what was one of the ultimate Freddy has the same issue with the one I had with the legs but the arms um, dad and having problems with that of course he's got the the nice tombstone says Jason Voorhees on there and of course you have the spear from the fence and then which one was this was it a weed whacker I can't remember what this one's from it's been so long since I seen the movie and then the machete of course it's a nice soft plastic it's got a very sharp point too it been cool if they added some little blood effect on there or even a, another machete would be kind of cool but it's still disappointing because this is the only hand that this one will go into so I gotta make sure I can get that piece out other than that it's pretty cool he's got holsters for his uh, weapons utility belt overall nice uh, paint work on here the paint on here is the nicest part of this figure because he's got blood on his butt as well they're very nice and of course the mask is removable so that's nice being able to have a mask that can come off um, I'd be very careful with the straps because I don't know how durable they are but slides on pretty nice the cool Jason figure so articulation wise he has head movement go side up and down you can look down pretty good as far as looking up, you can look up, put the mask up just a little bit, and you can kind of fake it a little bit. It's got, uh, the joints on here are very tight, so I'd be very careful as well. His arms can go out about that far. Can rotate up. It's got a single jointed elbow, which only gives you about that much bend and rotation there, which I've never been a fan of that kind of articulation. That's just me. I never really like that. It's got wrist movement. Does have waist crunch. So it's about that far in. And everything right around this area is a soft plastic, so you can get uh, pretty good movement. His leg can move up about that far. Of course, with Jason, you don't need any super dynamic poses. I mean, you just need the kind of slasher effect. It's got a single jointed knee, goes about that far, and of course it's got that rotation right at the knee as well. Then he's got no ankle movement at all. Can go side to side, but not up and down. But other than that, uh, pretty decent figure. Definitely worth the 20 bucks in my opinion. Uh, if you're 
Jason fan, gotta go pick him up, man. This is a pretty cool figure overall.